Hey guys, it's Carrie. I've got most of my favourite animals today. African elephant, bone predators like cheetah and leopards will not stand a chance to take on even the smallest or weakest elephants. Herd members will most likely work together to threaten the predator by growling, displaying hostile body language and charging in masses. Elephants made their mark in ancient warfare as creatures capable of devastating packed formations of enemy troops. Elephants could trample enemy soldiers, gore them with their tusks and even throw them with their trunks. Oh Cappy, females are larger than males. The eyes and ears are large and the tongue long enough to reach the ear base. The males have a pair of short-haired Aussie canes that are directed backward. Their body is short and compact with a sloping back as in the giraffe but the neck is much shorter. They are endemic to the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa where they inhabit dense damp forests on both sides of the Congo River. Okapis are diurnal and live alone or in pairs or a small family group. They are very timid in their nature. Giraffe. They are active day and night most active during early and late hours of the day, especially in warmer climates. They spend a lot of time chewing pre-digested food. The hottest part of the day is spent resting and ruminating. They often stand in the shade or orient their bodies towards the sun to reduce sun exposure. They will lie down during part of the night but mostly sleep standing up. Coyote The basic social unit of a coyote pack is a family containing a reproductive female. When hunting large prey, the coyote often works in pairs or small groups. Success in killing large ungulates depends on factors such as snow depth and crust density. The coyote will approach its prey from the front, lacerating its prey's head and throat. Although coyotes prefer fresh meat, they will scavenge when the opportunity presents itself. Predators of coyotes are cougars, wolves, grizzly bears, and black bears. Lion. Male lions are born to fight. It's their only job in the pride. It's bred into their genetics and the superior fighters are the ones who get to procreate. Lions fight by inflicting damage with one of their front paws, each one equipped with four centimeter retractable claws. Lions can open their jaws up to 28 centimeters wide, giving them one of the animal kingdom's biggest bites. The striking style of a lion is more like a boxer. They use a three-legged stance and use speed varied paw swipes which are similar to jabs. They have been known to rear up on their hind legs and strike opponents with both paws. Lions usually try to leap onto their opponents or prey's back, slowly whistling them down onto the ground. Lions also quickly roll onto their backs and attack their opponents with bites, swipes and sometimes even kicks. Lions are also good at quickly dodging strikes. 
orangutan. They are red-haired apes that live in the tropical rainforests of Sumatra and Borneo in Southeast Asia. Orangutans spend most of their time up in the trees where they use their long, strong arms and hook-shaped hands to climb and swing from branch to branch. Orangutans have an enormous arm span. A male may stretch his arms two meters wide. Their standing height is about one and a half meters. When orangutans do stand, their hands nearly touch the ground. Male orangutans grow a beard and moustache when they become adults. Some male orangutans also grow cheek pads and throat pouches. They use large leaves as umbrellas and shelter to protect themselves from the rain. Tiger, they have forward facing eyes rather than one on each side of the head. This provides binocular vision because each eye's field of vision overlaps creating a three-dimensional image. Binocular vision enables them to accurately assess distances and depths which is extremely useful for manoeuvring within their complex environment and stalking prey. Tiger eyes have large lenses and pupils that increase the amount of light let into the eye. This characteristic helps the tiger with night vision and when there are low light levels. They have five different types of whiskers that detect sensory information. The mystacial whiskers are located on the tiger's muzzle and are used when attacking prey and navigating in the dark. Superciliary whiskers are located above the eyes. Cheek whiskers are located just behind the mystacial whiskers on the cheeks. Carpal whiskers are located on the back of the tiger's front legs. Tylotric whiskers are located randomly throughout the body. The facial whiskers of the tiger are about 15 centimeters in length. Flying squirrel, they can glide from tree to tree. They have a furred parachute-like skin membrane that stretches across from their wrist to ankle. Their long tails also provide stability as they glide. Squirrel monkey, they are omnivores. Their long tail helps them balance when they move through the treetops. They live in the treetops of dense tropical rainforests, wetlands, marshes and mangroves. Panda, the forepaws, teeth and jaws have adapted over time for bamboo consumption. The giant panda has still retained the digestive system of its carnivore ancestry and lacks the ability to digest cellulose, a main constituent of bamboo. Pandas solve this problem by rapidly passing impressive quantities of the grass through their digestive tracts on a daily basis. As much as 16 out of every 24 hours is spent feeding and elimination of waste occurs up to 50 times per day. They have a large scent gland located just below the tail and surrounding the anus. It is used to leave olfactory messages for other pandas. They rub this gland against trees, rocks and clumps of grass. Rhinoceros. Males and females spray urine to advertise reproductive receptivity. When sexually aroused, the female lifts and cocks her tail at an angle. The male sniffs the female's rear end 
and genital area using the phlegm and response. The female increases how often and how energetically she scrapes the dung pile. Once a female is found, the male rhino follows the female in a calm manner. They both playfully nudge heads and joust with their horns. The male mouths the female and copulation can last for half an hour or more. The male's penis is curved backwards, allowing the characteristic rear directed urination. Spraying bursts can reach up to three to four meters away and males often follow a spray with vigorous horning of the urine soaked soil and vegetation. Scent marking is critical for communication as rhinos have extremely poor eyesight. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.